welcome back to my channel this is a uh, park that we come to it has um, a little fountain in the middle and there's turtles in the water over here there's ducks all around there this is also a place of where they have Sam Houston's houses and um, I will show those here in a minute. There are geese that are nesting here. We're not supposed to disturb them, but I was going to get it in the picture. This is pretty down here. Here's some swimming in the water, and there's also a little duck over there. There's a little bridge. This is beautiful down there. Yeah. And then a little area. There's also some turtles swimming over here. Which they keep going under every time I film them. And there's also a little waterfall. There's some some big old geese. Here's the little waterfall. Cypress knee bustios is what this is. It's their roots that come up like that for air. There's one. I like the green iridescent on him. Pretty. He's eating something off the bottom of the Threw some crackers in there. He's eating those. You hungry? There you go. Here's another one coming. There's actually two over there coming. Here's one of the houses, and there's another one. I'll be showing it up close here in a second. Here's another bridge we came to. The bottom beak is shaking. See it? <laughs> You got hair, dude. Okay, this plaque says the law office built and used at various periods of his later life by Sam Houston. He was a soldier, statesman, master, a mason, the Grand Lodge of Texas, AF and AM. 1964, I guess, is when this plaque was put in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all can see. So this was General Sam Houston's law office. The irises in this little area are blooming. And then there's a big old purple one here. And then this is a little fenced in garden area. Neat little tree. 
this next building is the Houston Kitchen. It was reconstructed in 1993. It is a replica of a typical 1800 East Texas kitchen. This is their call. They're calling it Eliza's Kitchen. Well, there was a time. You know what? This is all new. It's those nails. Yes, it's. They, they have, must they have, have, to have a fire it. extinguisher. But there was a time when they would caulk all of this so the bugs must have caught that grass. Then there's also a garden over here. In this case, they didn't because they wanted the heat. With a scarecrow. A couple of buildings over here. This one, you got the stove going and you're trying to cool off. So they leave it. Then there's some firewood along right there. Little resting area. Now, this house. It, it has a dog run which the this part is open in the very middle this house is called well i don't know if that's what this is called but it says woodland has been des designated a national historic landmark this site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the united states of america 1975 National Park Service United States Department of the Interior. Interior. Yeah, this was where the kids you had to walk from room to room instead of in within inside the house. When we got the living room, you went outside. I'm getting these sidewalk. I can't get there. Well, this was a bedroom, and I guess you had to go through this door to get to that room, which now you can't see because the square on the window. Maybe you can get it in the here. light. There. There's another bedroom in there. Now that's where I just was. Over here is another room. I guess this is the dining area. There. Here is the rest of the room. Over on the other side, there is a big piano, a little table. Like the living area. So, like a living area. Great room. Then there is also a set of stairs. There is a set of stairs up here. There's a room over here. And then there's a room over here. That is a quilting machine back over here. This is about the Houston children. This says, Home of General Sam Houston, presented to the Sam Houston Normal Institute by the students of 1910 to 11. This plaque says, This tablet is dedicated in grateful acknowledgement to Bertha Kirkley, 
a devoted student and teacher of American history who in 1905 initiated the purchase and preservation of the Sam Houston Homestead as a, an historical shrine. Here's the other side of the house. It's uh, for the big fireplace. I can't go around this side and show the other side because there are people there and I don't want them on camera. There are three buildings over here. A building there, 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 and over there. Now this one over there is a houseboat that got moved here and we will probably show that one in a little bit. This is the side view. Each room has a door, and to get to the other room, you have to go in and out of each one. <laughs> and if you had to get to the other side of the house, you got to walk out and go around. <laughs> really big <laughs> stairs. This is actually called the Steamboat House. It was built in 1858 by Dr. Rufus Bailey, 1858 to 62, president of Austin College, as a wedding gift for, for his son. Unusual house called such joking. However, the couple refused to live in it. In 1862, after Sam Houston left governorship of Texas, he rented Steamboat House and here he died in 1863. His funeral was held in the upstairs parlor. In 1933, Houston businessman J.E. Jossie bought house and gave it to the state. Texas Centennial Commission restored building and moved it here in 1936, Rec recorded Texas history landmark in 1964. This is the room that is at the top of the stairs. This is where he died. That is a replica of his coffin right here. But he is actually buried here at a local cemetery. That is the stairs that we just came down, and then there is a little room under here. It's a bedroom or sitting room, or I think it was his because of the the see the the crutch there. Yeah. Then there's a little walkway. There's two rooms on this side. The one I just showed you, there's an entrance over that way. And then there is another bedroom here. That must have been kids' room since it has the rocking chairs in it. Little rocking chairs. There is a big old dresser on that side, but I can't get it in the picture. I like the bed. I like this table set up over here. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this? You know, mm -hmm. big this is a dining room. Yeah. Tables and carrots. And apples, pears, and grapes. There's also a second floor up there, but I don't think we're able to get to it on this side. Yeah. Yeah, there is an upstairs, but there is no way uh, to get to it at all. I think it's the same rooms on each side. You can just see a different angle at it. This one, it says Jeff Hamilton was rescued off the auction block in Huntsville, Texas and joined the Houston family at the young age of 13 he was groomed as Governor Sam Houston's personal servant, office boy, and driver. And a couple other things. Then the day Sam died, the lower front room, it was Jeff who tended to Sam and dressed the 50-year-old battle-wounded 
wound that never healed. Here is the dining room from the other angle. There is a little path that goes down this way that you can walk through the woods and around the whole property. And this one is a little store, but it is also one of the historic buildings. Wigwam Neo Show <laughs> Museum Store. And then over here is a is blacksmith the, area over there. About the Native Americans, I think. We are in the store, and there is a poster of Sam Houston Memorial Museum. And a map on the wall. And it says from 1836. There's several books. Our Texas flag. And a little video that is running about Sam Houston. More books. Seventeen ninety three to eighteen sixty three. May I use your Hey, there's for something all the crocheters out there. There's a crocheted collar and a woven hat and a weaving machine. I bet y'all didn't think y'all were gonna see crochet today. The baby booties and look the walk cross. Oh, yep. The cool. baby booties, some washcloths. That's awesome. Look how beautiful that collar is. And some information on the wall about it. Oh, this Open is cotton knitted ball. socks. Knitted socks. <laughs> Come look at this. Yeah, look at that crochet collar, it's beautiful. An old spinning wheel. An old skein maker, which now they call it a Swift. So it went from this to brushing it out to Putting it on there and to the spinning and then weaving. And then twisting it. And through this needle, is that a crochet or knitting? From seed to sock. Okay. At the end, it's got the hook. Different things that you can buy. Blankets. More maps. That's an old map. Houston, capital of Texas, 1837. Different shirts. Big old poster. And they got coffee. Some more mugs. Toys for kids. A tatting kit.
beginning quilting kit. Cross stitch book marker. Bamboo flute. Old fashioned hardwood tops. Different, this is different uh, type brochures. And this is actually a 67 foot statue that we have in our town of General Sam Houston, and it's out by our highway. You can buy some rocks that they've been polished. I think they do this here. Here's an old wagon. And you never know when you might meet that And a couple of geese, ducks, whatever they are. This is the blacksmith shop. Here is another building. It's a pottery shop, but it is closed right now. It's called Raven's Pottery. Isn't this like the barn? I think so. Oh no, it's a Raven's Pottery. It's a pottery barn, but where they do pottery. There is a squirrel. Can y'all see him? He's got a acorn in his mouth. Here's another building. Neat looking bench. There's a big old spinning wheel. There we go, crocheting. That's cool. And an old quilt. You can see it's frayed right there. It's probably not 1800s old, but it's fraying on the ends. And then here's another room. Dining room. There's an old armoire thing. That's cool. Then this is a walkthrough area. There's a set of stairs right here. This is called Bear Ben Bend Hunting Lodge. 1840 to 1850. Tradition says Sam Houston often stayed here while bear hunting. There's a lot more, but I'm not going to read it. Well, this couldn't have been originated in Texas because there was no bear here for to hunt. The cabin was moved six miles from its original site near the San Jacinto River, now Lake Conroe, in Montgomery County, and restored by B. Carroll and May Tharp in 1987. It was moved again in 2010 to the Sam Houston Memorial Museum grounds in Huntsville. Bear Bend was also called the Chatham Cabin during the period it was occupied by the Chatham family. 
There's also another plaque on this side. There's also a set of stairs. Very small yeah, stairs. And you can't see anything into these rooms, but there's no room over there. So, <laughs> room. But that one's closed off. On that duck goose has a hairdo. Elvis. This cabin is called the Robert Ferris Log Cabin. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll leave it here in a, for a minute so y'all can pause the video and read it. Then there's another cabin over here. There's a door here, and then on the other side over here, then all of this is open, it's got a door here, here, and this is the current cabin circa 1845. Another squirrel. Here's a tree that has cypress. cypress. It has braids going up of it. We made it back around to the pond area and I finally found a turtle. And now they're swimming off, but <laughs> there's one sticking its head, those two right there sticking their heads up and there's also a few swimming around out here all right well i want to thank everyone for watching and i hope everyone has a wonderful day Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.